On June 12, 2025, astronomers detected something truly extraordinary, a brand new point of light in the sky, a star that wasn't there before. And just a few days later, it became visible to the naked eye. No telescopes, no binoculars, just your eyes and the night sky. This wasn't a supernova. The star didn't die. This was a nova, a powerful stellar explosion caused by a white dwarf star stealing gas from a neighboring star until it ignites in a massive thermonuclear blast. The nova has been officially named V462 Lupi because it appeared in the constellation Lupus. It caught everyone by surprise. Most of us were busy watching a completely different star, T. Corona Borealis, which was expected to erupt in 2024. That star had shown signs of dimming, something it did before its last explosion in 1946. Scientists thought it was ready to blow. But as of late June 2025, T. Corona Borealis is still quiet. It hasn't exploded yet. Then suddenly, V. Fortsitulu by appeared, a star we didn't even know was about to do anything interesting. And it didn't just brighten a little, it exploded into the brightest nova we have seen in last five years. By June 18th, just six days after discovery, its brightness had reached magnitude 5.7. That's right on the edge of what the human eye can see without any help and bright enough to be visible from most parts of the world. If you're in the southern hemisphere, you get the best view, but even from North America, Europe and Asia, it's possible to spot it just after sunset by looking to the south. If you want help finding it, the best tool is a free app called Stellarium. Just open it, look for the constellation Lupus, and you will be guided right to the spot where V462 Lupi is currently shining, though it's not properly listed as it's a new object in the night sky. Now let's talk about why this matters. Novi happens few times a year across the Milky Way, but very few get this bright. Most are too faint or too far away to be seen without serious equipment. The last time a nova reached naked eye brightness was in early 2021 with the star RS Apuche. What makes V462 Lupi so exciting isn't just its brightness, it's the mystery. We didn't see it coming. We don't know if it's a recurrent nova or a one-time event. There's no historical record of it exploding before. And right now, astronomers have no idea why this particular nova was so incredibly luminous. It's estimated to be over 4 million times brighter than the original star we saw in the same location just months ago. In a nova, white dwarf doesn't die, it simply erupts. The outer layer explodes in a fiery flash while the core remains intact. The whole event can be over in few weeks or months, so if you haven't seen V462 Lupi yet, you may not have much time left. And this sudden explosion has left scientists with a lot of questions. Why was this so bright? How often does this system get erupt? Is there anything special about the companion star feeding it material? These are the kind of puzzles that keep astronomers up at night. And over the next few months, you can bet we are going to see a wave of new research papers coming out to explain what just happened. And maybe we'll face the new Vera Rubin telescope towards it or the JWST. Meanwhile, T. Corona Borealis still hasn't gone off. So we now have two ticking time bombs in the sky, one that already exploded and one we are still waiting for. For now, we get to enjoy a rare and beautiful event, a star born again in brightness lighting up the sky for anyone on Earth to see. So if you're lucky enough to have clear skies tonight, go outside, look south and witness something truly cosmic.